in the course of creating a poster you might want to add some shapes whether that's just shapes in their own right or whether they would hold text or images and if you're adding more than one or you have more than one object on a PowerPoint slide that you want to align it can be quite tricky to do that by eye but PowerPoint provides you with some tools to help so to investigate that we'll just go ahead and add some shapes into this slide by going to the insert menu shapes and then I'll just choose uh, a rectangle if I just draw one instance of that on the slide I'll now use control and C to copy and control V to paste uh, so that I've got three shapes. When I start to move those around uh, PowerPoint will provide me with some guidance as to whether or not they align with one another and if I push it up closer to, to the other object on the slide you'll see the same thing applies that I get a, a guideline appear dynamically. So if I just space those objects out on the slide for example if I want those in that position to be distributed equally across the, the width of my uh, poster. What I'll need to do is select them all. So I've got one selected already. I'm now going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click the other two. So now I've got all three selected. If I go to the drawing tools format tab I need to select the align icon and in here I can then choose distribute horizontally so the key thing with this menu is to check which of the two bottom options you've got selected. By default it should be align selected objects. What this means is that the objects align with reference to one another. Align to slide will be using the edge of the slide to govern the alignment. So if for example I select align to slide and I go and say align left, all three objects are now going to snap across onto the left hand side of the slide. So I actually want mine to be aligned selected objects so that they align with reference to one another. And what I'm going to do is say distribute horizontally. If I do that you'll see as a very small adjustment so that now I know that the spacing between those objects is equidistant. I can do other things such as align to the centre and that will bring them into the centre of the slide. You can also use options like Align Middle, which calculates the midpoint of the vertical distribution of your selected shapes and then ensures they're perfectly distributed through their middles. So you've got a whole number of different options there and it's a good idea to just get a blank slide, add some shapes and experiment with the alignment tools. So using a combination of guidelines on your slide the dynamic lines that appear when you move objects around and then also using the various alignment tools you should end up with a perfectly laid out set of objects and shapes on your poster.